today is a little short video just about an alternative to um, a brush, the Pentel brush pen um, because for the longest time I was after a coloured version of this because I personally prefer the tip of this to any other brush pen um, but I was always kind of annoyed that it only came in black or at least as far as I know I can only access it in black so I was looking on Juicy Inc's YouTube channel and Twitter the other day and I saw that they had um, a brush pen with a grey ink and I was like oh wow where's that from and um, they told me and it turns out that the it was a Pentel Aquash which is this pen here and it was available in a pale black I think it was called it's like a faded black colour and it's not actually accessible in the UK as far as I'm aware I couldn't find one for sale and I was kind of annoyed by that so I thought hang on why can't I just put my own ink it's a water brush and I thought why didn't I think of that sooner? Because, like I said, I've been after coloured inks for the longest time for brush pens. Just to sort of... I mean, when you ink everything in black, it tends to look a bit too harsh sometimes, especially for paler colours or, for example, things like blonde hair. And I was kind of like, oh, well... Why didn't I just think of this sooner? Coloured ink in a water brush. So if you're not sure what a water brush is, basically a sort of this is a portable one that I was sent as a gift and it's a, a brush that contains a compartment just for water or in my case now ink and you can use it on a um, on watercolors and it saves you getting a tub of water especially if it's just for light use yeah, that's a portable one as you can see like the water it doesn't come out so that's really handy I actually keep that in my pencil case but um, I really like the zig clean color real brush and I recently ordered some new colours and I got, I already had this one which is dark oatmeal and I have this one now which is blush and I have, uh, what's it called, haze blue. Haze blue is a lot paler than I wanted, yeah just, and that's blush. But the thing is about these they're not refillable and I just have this little thing where I don't like non-refillable pens because if I like a pen a lot I will use it dry and in fact I am currently on my fourth refill for this Pentel brush pen and I've only had it a few months and I don't know whether that's because the ink cartridges are, haven't got the best capacity um, or I use it too much I'm not sure <laughs> so I've got that which is refillable these aren't refillable obviously you don't tend to use colors as often so it's not too bad but at the same time I really did want a gray color and I would probably use a gray more than a black especially if I could get it in this pen the alternative was to then get some water brushes and fill them with my own inks so I ordered the Pentel Aquash and then I got two detailers which are the uh, Zig H2O water brush and in the detailer nib which is um, the size I felt fits the same as this the most because the lar the medium is quite large I don't have a large I do have a broad but it's really old and I didn't even know I had this the medium is very big in comparison though so it does create a much broader effect is nice and then here's the size of the detailer brush which is a little bit more um, the lines taper a lot better I love the ink colors that I bought <laughs> and then this one was the Pentel Aquash and as far as I know it only comes in one size this is I think pretty much identical if not a bit thinner to the Pentel brush pen and it does handle very similarly actually. So there we go. I've got some bird action going on in the background there. <laughs> so yes, um, but I decided to order these as a way of making a video to show that there's a really cheap alternative because I find that this pen can be quite pricey unless you get it on offer. So um, obviously it's refillable, it's great. I swear by it but if you can't really afford one and you just kind of want to have an experiment with brush pens before committing to something like that you can pick yourself up a really cheap water brush 
and the detailer size in the H2O was 275 and the medium was 330 and I think the large and broad were somewhere around the 360 to 4 pound something mark which is quite expensive and at the end of the day when you add ink it's not any more cheaper than this but um, the options are that you get to play with awesome colours <laughs> so um, and this one uh, the aquash was 448 so it's actually not too cheap but it's cheap it's not as cheap feeling as these because these do feel cheap and I do prefer this one so if I do want more coloured inks in the future I will probably buy an aquash um, but this is just fantastic so the inks that I did order I went for the cheapest ink the cheapest fountain pen ink and I thought you know what I'm just gonna try it I bought one and that was the quartz black which is this to put in my aquash um, if it was cheap and it didn't work there wasn't a lot to lose and it actually works really well especially with Copics I believe it does not work with water I'm fairly sure no definitely not waterproof that's okay they're cool they are Copic proof which is nice and I also noticed there's very little fade when I erase so that's good as well however uh, I got quartz black which is a pale black and this was a 30ml bottle of diamine or diamine fountain pen ink um, 30 mils and I've probably used I can't really see but I don't think there's any more than probably six to ten milliliters in there I'm not sure what the capacity is overall but I can see that I've I can't lift it to the camera you can't really see because I'd have to tilt it I've probably used about six milliliters of this bottle in here and that is going to last quite a while and it will probably this this bottle will completely outlast these cartridges because the cartridges I don't know how much they uh, hold Let's see if it says no but they do run out very fast and it's kind of annoying especially when you're at a convention and you've run out like I did this weekend so um, quartz black and so it's a really nice it's the exact grey that I wanted. I'm going to lift up the camera because it looks like black on my screen anyway. But you can just see. So I'll compare it to black and you'll see what I mean. It's a lot softer and it's a lot nicer for outlining things that um, are dark but not too dark. So I actually did all of this drawing in the grey. I think, did I ink anything else? No. I used my blush um, that one. <laughs> I used that for the skin and then Copic and I think that was it, yeah. But I used the entirety of this aquash for her outline and she just looked a lot softer, a lot nicer than just doing it straight up in black. And I, I really liked that effect so I really recommend that especially if you do want coloured brush pens. And I did briefly touch on the um, Pentel colour brush but the nib for me is too big and it's still like I had a lot of comments saying like that it takes a while to sort of get used to it but I still find it very dry and I've just used it for colouring in rather than actually like it's got too much of a break to outline with for me so you can see that it's it's not as nice to ink with and I have been told it is just a colouring in brush a watercolour type colour that's it. <laughs> um, so it's not really recommended as an inking tool. So I was like, well, I need coloured inking tools. And I'm just glad I found this. So the inks that I bought, this one, the red one, is Wild Strawberry. And I've used even less ink. So the H2O brushes actually have a smaller capacity um, than the Aquash. And you can kind of see that. It's very obvious in the barrel. But this is, this is the medium and has probably taken about two to three millilitres of ink. And then I got Bilberry and Marine, which are these two colours. Marine and Bilberry. And I'll just lift that up. You can kind of see the colouring just on the edges of if, if it catches the light. Bilberry's harder because it's 
very dark but they're absolutely gorgeous and this has taken up even less ink. Um, marine is actually emptier, you can kind of see that it's emptier just a little bit because um, I actually still had water left over in this brush and uh, that was not good so <laughs> I, I had to rinse it so I've actually used two refills for this and it's gone down quite little if that makes sense like not too much so really recommend it so the total cost for this right here to work you've obviously had to pay for the ink I'm just moving the thing away so the total cost for this was 235 and 275 so let me get a calculator so that came to five pounds ten whereas this is typically around eight pounds so it, that saved me three pounds on this and it's a coloured ink, col coloured Copic proof ink as well. The nib is, is nice, it's not as nice as these ones, um, and I'll work out a cost for those in a sec. But if you actually just factor in just the cost of the ink, so that's 40p for this ink here. And so total to make this brush, it has cost me uh, two, three pounds and 15 pence, which is pretty cool. So, and just to get that up and running, you can then make ink washes with it, you can line with it. It's really nice. So here's a random picture. It's top marks. <laughs> but it's really, really nice, and I recommend doing something like this if you are a little bit strapped for cash or if you do need an alternative. If you can spring for the Ack wash, the pen itself is 448. So the total cost for this pen was 683 still cheaper than this so you can get a brush pen that's almost identical it's not as pretty on the outside I will say but you can then fill it with what kind of black if you want a, a really strong black like this or if you want a softer black or any color I could put any of these in an aquash and it would be fine so it's a really nice alternative it saves you a little bit of money especially if you go for the cheaper brush pen if you can get cheaper inks. I bought all of this from cultpens.co.uk. I'm not sponsored, but they are my favorite website. And they um, they are fantastic and they get things to you very quickly. So that's a UK based site only guys, by the way. So you could probably get this stuff a lot cheaper over the pond. And I just really recommend it. And it's a really good alternative and you can get yourself a little collection of different colors as well, which is what I've done here. So now I've got gray, red, teal, and purple as well as my black. And then if you're really not going to use brush pens very often, you can just get yourself a disposable Zig pen for around 225, 235, I think these are. And um, however, the brush quality in the Pentel type brush pens is a lot better than the Zig ones. So there you go. There's my little sort of solution to, whoa, bye. <laughs> There's my little solution to um, sort of affording brush pens or maybe building up a collection of different colours. So I hope you like this video guys and um, if you've got any questions about brush pens leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. So thanks for watching guys, see you later!